everyone, I'm Anita of My Duke and I Podcast, and wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having the most wonderful day. And if you're seeing this show for the very first time and you like the show, please subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell for more. By the way, guys, happy belated Mother's Day to each and every one of you guys that are mothers out there, and those of you who are playing a mother figure in other people's lives. Happy Mother's Day to you. Um, yesterday I had a most wonderful Mother's Day with my boys and um, that's the reason why I didn't put out a video. I was, um, you know, so giddy and so caught up with Harry and Meghan for the last couple of days, you know, with Harry going off to England and then, you know, um, him and um, Megan going off to Nigeria so I wanted to make sure that you know I took some time out to spend with my children and um, we had a really really good time and um, yes yeah, so the um, third and final day in Nigeria was absolutely breathtaking and um, it has just been a whirlwind tour for Harry and Meghan, um, the Nigerian people, they definitely put out the welcome mat for Harry and Meghan. They treated them like royalty and they treated them with class, kindness, love. It was just stunning to see how Nigeria, you know, embraced Harry and Meghan and um, I'm sure they had a very good time over there. As Harry and Meghan said, they certainly will be coming back. And um, let's just go through all of what happened. And one of the things I want to also point out, you know, there were a lot of, um, you know, fashion moments and, you know, really like um, moments where you'd be like, oh you know so cute moments but one of the things that I'm so proud of Harry and Meghan for is their philanthropy and um, they did a lot of that while they were in Nigeria and I just want to make sure that when I talk about them I'm also emphasizing the good that they're doing in this world so let's just start out with um, Meghan and Harry's first um, um, engagement that they had so they went to a high school where they, um, you know, had a basketball game and um, the person that was um, really running that basketball um, game was a former um, basketball player from the Toronto Raptors and Megan made a reference with, um, a reference to being at so many of these games, I think she probably had met um, a Nigerian player there as well. I think his name is Masai Ujiri. Oh, okay. <laughs> My kids are watching their basketball. Johnny! They are <laughs> telling me want to be quiet. But um, I think his team is losing and he's <laughs> getting sad. But... It, but anyways, um, so it's the basketball finals here in the United States right now. So they are very excited about that. So it's a little bit talkative, a little bit of talking and a little bit of loudness in the house. But anyways, let me just get back to my story. Um, so definitely, um, you know, they participated um, in the um, basketball game. Um, they looked, uh, Megan mentioned that uh, you know, she won't be going up to play because um, her husband, who is Harry, I love how they say wife and husband, you know, that's how they refer to each other. And of course, H and M, we all know. <laughs> but anyways, she said her husband was the athletic type. So, but um, Harry, you know, had a lot of fun with the kids. They played with them and stuff like that, which was really cute. And um, the non-for-profit organization, which is called the Giant Africa Foundation, which is non-for-profit, was put on by Masai Ujuri, a you know, former Raptors player. And um, Toronto Raptors, by the way, that was the name of the, the team. So uh, he and Archer Foundation, his foundation and Archer Foundation, they're going to pair up and they're going to build a basketball court um, 
in Nigeria and they're going to build it. I think it is, it is in Abuja. That's where they're going to build that basketball court. I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly. And after that, Harry and Meghan met the state governor of Lagos. And they went to the office and of course, everywhere they go, you know, they treated them like royalty. They, you know, celebrated them and, um, you know, just made them feel like home. As um, Megan said, you know, you know, she, she feels like Nigeria feels like home. So, and that's how um, that's the reception that they got. They really felt welcome in Nigeria. So, you know, and everywhere they went, they, you know, it was nice to hear Harry and Megan speak, and so on. So, you know, they gave them the mic, and they had little. Um, you know, words, encouraging words and what have you for the people. And of course, they were expressing their gratitude. So they did that at the basketball game. And they also came to, um, when they came to the governor's office, same thing as well. And um, after that, um, they went to a cultural reception. And that is where Megan got her new name. And, um, you know, everybody was so happy on social media, you know, and the reason why they were that happy is because the name was given to her by royalty, okay? <laughs> the royal name was given to her by um, a king. So, um, you know, she's now considered to be a daughter of an aristocrat. So she's considered to be, she was always our princess, but now she's an official princess of Nigeria. At least that's what I think in my mind, okay? And in a lot of people's minds, okay? So really nice that she was given that title. <laughs> she's given the name Ida. So that is nice. And um, yes, and then after that, they went to a fundraiser, a polo fundraiser. And everybody knows that Harry is um, going to be doing a Netflix um, polo series. So that was really nice that they were able to incorporate some of it from, they, they will be incorporating, I believe, some of it from um, Africa. And it was really lovely, you know, to see that these young people in Africa are picking up the sports of um it was mostly kids I saw they were given medals too so it, it's nice and um, you know uh, it, it's just you know they, they make us feel like Africa is a not safe place Africa is a impoverished place Africa is this Africa is that no Africa is thriving Africa is doing very well so Nigeria exceptional as the guy said Masai Ujuri says whatever everywhere else in Africa is doing this because they've copied it from Nigeria they're proud of their country and that is really nice to see and they really put on a nice display so that fundraiser I saw somewhere where Archer Foundation gave um, um, I don't know what group it was but I did see somebody with a check of one million dollars and I don't know if it is in African money or if it is in US dollars I'm not too sure but everywhere they go they sprinkle some love and they left something behind they donated they raised the money in that polo um, in that polo match and what was cute about it it was um, uh, it was Harry against Megan Duke versus Duchess and of course girl power girl wins okay <laughs> But at the end of the day, everybody is a winner in, in all of this, okay? So I'm still catching up on my information. There is so much to talk about in all of these three days. I have things that I could talk about, little pieces of things that I pick up and I saw here and there. I'm going to put it together. I'm filming this a little late right now because um, I came from work late today. Um, Mondays are my late days, so you will see this video on Tuesday. But talk about Megan's fashion, I'm telling you, absolutely gorgeous. When she went to the governor's um, 
um, house or office, she wore a yellow dress. That yellow dress was the same dress that Miss Sen had taken out her photo in that black and white photo when she announced the pregnancy of Lily. So, um, yes, that dress is, you know, she's re-wearing re it just that we didn't um, know at that time. We've since found out that it was a yellow dress, but we got to see her in that yellow dress. And I love dresses. You can see me. Every time you see me, I either have a romper on or jumpsuit or a dress okay so um i really loved 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 that, that dress and um with she at the basketball game she wore a skirt that was given to her the day before with a white shirt megan is notorious for her white shirt she loves 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 a button-up white crisp shirt and she likes to roll it towards the um elbows i did a video a couple of days ago and um it was the shorts i had this skirt and i had a jeans shirt and it reminded me of megan megan likes to wear um jeans on jeans and um i rolled it up at the sleeve and then i tucked it in it was really nice and um that's been some homage to megan and um so she really looked absolutely stunning in the skirt that she had and uh, she just doesn't go wrong with her fashion sense and um, for the polo match of course she came out with this uh, lovely lovely dress it had um, you know it was tied it was like a halter um, it had a dip slit at the um, neckline and um, it had two um, I'm not, I don't want to call it strings or flaps going back um, and she put it um, towards the back. It was similar to something. I When I saw it, I was like, it's almost similar to the dress that Diana had worn when she was in Africa. It, had, it was like a halter and it had a little pink on it and so on and purple on it. But it remind, that dress reminded me of it. And then we saw Megan later on with the white pants, which she had worn before, a jacket and um, a something underneath it i don't know if it's like it had it was textured like and then she had uh shoes um on and it, the shoes was brown and white and i think um diana had something very similar to that i think on a trip to africa so a little bit of um homage to princess diana um harry's mother <laughs> So yes, uh, so overall I would say the trip was very, very successful. I will look into Megan's fashion and I will bring, um, you know, some videos on that and certainly um, one thing at a time. <laughs> okay, so anyways, it's very late in my neck of the woods and um, I'm going to call it <laughs> a day and um, I will be posting a lot of the things that um, the Sussex is um, put up on their website and look forward to um, you know to those um, they, they post so um, it's just a matter of time and uh, <laughs> yes take care and love each and every one of you guys bye <laughs>